This is Groovon, getting straight into it as always. iCar Software Download, type that into Google. Let's get straight into this video. We all know why you're here. I'm not going to bore you with what it's all about because you're far more intelligent than that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have found me um, here. Click on this link here, Software Update iCar Software. Get that. And pay attention to the top here because these are all the different variants of the modules that you can use that iCarsoft sell. I have this one in particular and you need to click on it first otherwise you may download the wrong software. It could be a little bit better this layout on, on the uh, website um, and hence why I'm doing this video is to try and help you navigate it a bit better. Right so for example if I click on this one if you look at the screen it's changed now. So the software tool down here is actually unique to that device. And quite rightly so. So you just make sure that you select the device which is yours. In this case, for me, it's this. I have the version two. You can see it's at the top there. Software update for iCars version one, version two, version three products. Move down. This is just showing you all the different types of vehicles that you can use it on. There's a video there which is okay, but it doesn't really say anything. It just shows you uh, what you need to click on. Download instructions. You can download that, but you come to this video so hopefully you won't need to with the help of what I'm going to give you now so you select update tool downloading um, you can see it's just downloading there iCarsoft msdig right so let's double click on that zip file and it comes up with this application program we're going to get some error message probably now sort of sort of um, you know protection there we go um, right, so um, Windows protected. So you hit more info and run anyway because we know it's all good. There we go. Right, so let's press yes. Install Shield. Um, oh, it looks like it's seen a previous version. What I've got, I'm going to modify, repair. I'm going to repair it. For you, you, you just have a brand new install, but obviously I've probably got this already on my PC and press finish done right now if you go to your programs you should see iCarsoft there it is hit that and that's the little icon you want there in fact let's just go to the desktop and see what we can see there it should be down there as well yep oh that's why look I've got two uh, oh no, I haven't. I've got one. So that's that's the icon that you need. So whilst I'm here, let's double click on this. Right now, it's going to come up with a serial number. So a little trick here: you can enter that if you want to. The serial number is actually on the device that you that you've got, but it will automatically fill in as you turn it on. So if I plug it in now, so the serial number you can actually see is right on the middle of the screen, and there's a UID number as well. Now we go back into it again. There it's got locate, so it knows that my USB on my computer is sitting on my D drive, um, which is here, D port, sorry. You hit that. Right, so now the serial number is populated on the screen, which is exactly what I need. So if I press upgrade, then it'll start to go into its um, initialization. Now when you first do this, it may ask you for a email and your UID number. And the UID number is actually on the iCarsoft screen at the bottom there. So with the serial number and the UID, that's all you need. Or is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? No, I've got 10 on there. Um, I just chose the ones that I thought would be the most, uh, the most, most used, um, you know, different cars that I might have or help other people. So these are the ones I chose, but you can choose whatever ones that you want and you can do that actually from the main screen um, but once you've chosen them the 10 then you you're, you're, you you can't you can't amend them they're they're they're, they're stored uh, permanently on the device um, I did actually try deleting it off the memory card but I think it's um, non-volatile it's on the actual um, memory of the diagnostic tool so fair enough you know once you've downloaded it those 10 are what's going to be on there but you can update them so if you untick 
the ones that you don't want to update. If I do this first, I can just show you quicker um, because otherwise it will take forever. You can just select them all and it will update every single one. This column here is your local version. That was the version that I originally had. Latest version, you can see that the current version 11.2 for BMW is now 11.25 and obviously it's 15.3 megabytes in size. Up here on the top is the size of what memory you have, 46 megabytes of 2,966 megabytes, so plenty of space there. If I start adding all these different um, languages on, you might be Italian, Spanish, good for you if you are, you can see that obviously the megabytes are starting to go up now. Um, so. I'm, I'm okay with English. I wish I could speak Spanish, but uh, only a little bit, por favor. So I'm just going to keep with with English and then it reduces the size and it also speed up the time it takes to download. Um, so let's go with the BMW. Let's update that. Let's press download and you can see the status bar at the bottom there. It's starting to, uh, to go up. It might take a few minutes to do it. Okay, so now we've got to the end there, and this is why I just chose one because I knew it took a little while the, the first time I did this. But all importantly, it says update complete and press OK on that. And that's it done. You are ready to go. Um, it will probably, uh, there you go, it's just, just added an extra few megabytes on there because the uh, memory's just gone up a little bit. But um, now you just unplug it. Um, the actual device itself has been updated and uh, you can then just, just run with it, that's it. So this unit now has all been updated from what I've just showed you on the laptop there. If you go into diagnostic, you just use these thumb arrows here. Um, you can see that uh, here's all the different cars. Uh, BMW is what I just updated, so if I go into this now, there you go, you can see that the previous version software was 11.2 and I've just updated it to 11.25. Obviously I'm not connected to anything here um, so I'm not going to go into that now but it nevertheless is updated ready for when you got the OBD connected. Um, so if we go back to the main screen just quickly flick through these um, whilst I've got the camera on it it's easier to see. Services these are the various different things you've got oil resets, um, EPB electric parking brake, BMS battery monitoring system, DPF, that's your diesel particle filter, SAS steering angle sensor, um, electric throttle control, um, anti-locking brake system and your injectors. So they all have different functions depending on the vehicle. Um, some have more, some have less. Voltage, that will tell you what the voltage is if, if you want to try and test the battery. So if you want to load up the car with um, your rear heater, your, your headlights, you should see that the voltage will remain at around about, depends on the vehicle, about 13 volts, so you know your alternator is working, etc. Or if you've got a battery drain, that can be quite useful too. DTC lookup is your codes. OBD is uh, for sort of quick checking, maybe you want to find an issue, you also want to do a quick um, ABS uh, check, you can go into that rather than into the individual uh, brands of car. Uh, setup is, is this device, so you can turn off beeps and things. So you've got language, units of measure, it's pretty standard stuff. And uh, you need to have the car connected so that you can see all the functionality. So I hope this is very useful and thanks very much. Um, I'll put the little links that you need down below. Bye for now. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.